Everybody. So I'm going to make a video here. I'm going to show the multiband amp, and uh, I'm going to talk about something else. So I have been working on this. This is a real test of my abilities. So first off, we have the panel that the turns counters mounted. They are lined up with the input adjustments, which will be turn like vernier turn uh, turns counters so these were not perfectly rectangular holes to mount so that was fun <laughs> a lot of fun okay so down carefully so basically I'll show this you see the feed through bushings that one's gonna get turned around I have to cut the threads flush with the nut and uh, some more stuff to figure out what indicators I'm going to put on the front and switches and all that good stuff um, uh, another bushing I need to install so basically this is the rotary switch adjustment the D10 switch there so I wanted well I couldn't have the shaft come out in that location and there's there's nowhere else to, you know I couldn't drop it down wouldn't fit so it's really testing my engineering skills here so this this actually sticks into one of those bushings so it doesn't get pulled sideways when I go to turn it this has to get cut down that has to get cut down shaft to be flush with the bushing outer part of the bushing front panel smaller sprocket only for the drive larger sprocket for the band switch and this gets rid of the uh, slop so I'll be putting a larger sprocket over here larger well I'm not using that sprocket I just wanted to figure out what size would fit I have to charge my camera, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I am back. So, larger spark right here. I'm not using this one, like I said. It was just to see what I could fit here. And uh, I'll have a smaller sprocket back of the turns counter, roughly right here. I'm going to make a tensioner assembly similar to this one. I'll show you quick but a heavier duty one kind of look like that spring loaded so the chain which is a ladder chain I'm going to use this type of chain which I purchased and I'll leave enough slack to get around the large sprocket and then I'll you know pull back the tensioner put around the large sprocket release the tensioner get rid of the slack hold it in place and I'm going to add lo a longer shaft for each turns counter and I'll have either a bushing or something else basically serves the same purpose uh, like this, see how I put bushing here and one over here just so it's not pulling sideways on the shaft and the turns counter so this is the size sprocket that'll be in the back of the turns counter. So I'm learning, this is like a learning experience and uh, yeah, the, it'll look something like this but stronger so, you know, for the uh, tensioner so with the one-to-one -one drive like this very difficult to crank so the other thing I want to talk about is I'm going to start purchasing amplifiers. A lot of hams uh, have a hard time, fellow hams are having a hard time finding amps that haven't been um, really hacked up and stuff. So what I'm going to do is purchase amps and uh, I'll have prices listed on my website. Um, you'll have to send them to me. If you don't feel comfortable you can look at my my uh, reviews, you know, because like I said, there are a lot of dishonest people out there, and you can use my account to ship it. 
and uh, it doesn't cost you anything. They'll actually pack it, FedEx, send it in, and as long as it is as, as claimed, I will send a payment. If not, then you can pay to ship it back. But I'll go through them, do all the modifications, and put new tubes in them. They'll have a warranty on the tubes or Penta. So primarily TL922s, SB220s, and all the Ameritrons I work on. So that'll be a good service for fellow hams. I won't have to worry about a questionable amp. I'll warranty my work for a certain amount of time. So ordered the new sprockets. They're coming from a company in New York I've been dealing with for a long time. For over about 20 years now. So well you know if I had to make a whole nother panel it would have been a nightmare. I have four sets of the meters I'm using for this and uh it worked. There's nothing wrong with those panels. So, so stay tuned. I'm working on SP200 tomorrow. I'll make a video. And uh, just waiting on parts and tubes. It's just, you know, I work on other stuff when I'm when I have downtime. So I'm glad I'm catching up and I can work on this. And uh, that's about it. So please like, share, and subscribe. Phone number is 203 892 4119. 203 892 4119 73